Hello friends, welcome back to my new video. This is a very short video. Here I am going to explain you how to take your PS4 uh, system backup and restore so that it is very useful for hard disk replacement or OS related reinstallation. So I just switch on my PS4. So you can see the PS4 is just boot up. This is my PS4 home screen. So this home screen, uh, the first uh, item you will get PlayStation Plus, then notification, then friends, uh, community, then events, then messages, party, my profile, these are the trophies, then setting, then power. So for taking uh, system backup, we need to go to inside setting, then go to storage to check how much storage you have utilized in the primary storage area. Hence, I am using the secondary storage. So my primary might be very less. So it is taking time to come. Oh, okay. Mine is 13 GB only. So for my system backup, I can take by 16 GB pen drive or 32 GB pen drive. No need to go for any hard drive. So now I'm going to jump for system backup. See, I'll tell you before taking the system backup, you need any pen drive or hard disk based on your primary hard drive usage. Mine is 13 GB, so I take in a pen drive. Suppose you have 250 GB or 500 GB. So you have to take a hard disk and format that using FAT or a EXE FAT format. So you have to plug into Windows operating system, laptop or desktop and format it using FAT or EX FAT uh, formatting system, uh, format. So next, you need to go to system. So inside system, you can see backup and restore. You have to go to uh, backup PS4. So once I am hitting this uh, option, it will take me to this. So I have two user. Uh, so it is asking for both the user or one user. So I'll check uh, uh, both the user. I'll take the backup. Then next, next it will ask for application. Application is default for me in primary. Now it is zero application because I have already transferred all all the application or games to my secondary uh, storage. So these are the option you will get application uh, and save data. Save data is nothing but uh, whatever the application you play, their uh, data is going to save for future reference. Then capture. Capture will contain of image and videos, then themes and the settings. So these are the items you, are, you can check in uh, whether you want to uh, take a backup or not. Then next. So you can see uh, free space after backing up. So hence I already taken a backup earlier. So in my heart, um, pen drive there was no space left. That's the reason I'm not able to go to next. So uh, if you press next, you will get a screen of uh, name. Uh, of the backup file and the description. So name uh, by default it will come as a date time for the uh, name of the backup file and description you are uh, you can edit the description like why you are taking or which game or what reason you are taking the uh, backup. Then hit backup. So it will take a certain time to take a backup. Like for me it is a 13 GB so it taken around a. Uh, 20 minutes, but if you have a big file, a big uh, space to take a backup, it will take based on the storage you utilize in a primary me memory. So once the backup is done, so it will ask for restart and it will go for a restart. Suppose your system got rebooted 
your PS4 got restarted, then again you will come to this window again. So what do you have to do? You have to again jump to setting and go to system. So here we need to see whether our backup is successful or not. Then go to backup and restore and see uh, whether your backup file is already there in the drive or not so that you can do the restore in future. So you can see, so this is my uh, previous uh, backup file. So using this file, I can do the restore of my system after my hard disk uh, change or after my op new operating system got installed. Or if you want to take uh, this backup file to new PS4, also you can take this backup file and re restore your uh, PS4 data in your new PS4 system console. So even you can delete the backup file by like this, you can select and delete it. So this backup and restore is very essential if you are uh, changing your hard disk or changing your console or changing your operating system because of uh, some issues. So that's it guys, it's a short video. Hope uh, you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe my channel and stay tuned. Thank you.